you do? I'll compare and contrast. You will compare between what and what? If you want to know, follow me. Now tell me. I'll compare between the functions of the cardiovascular system and the lymphatic system. Let's start. The circulation of cardiovascular system considered as a closed one. Why? Because the blood leaves the heart, travels in a closed circuit circle, and re-enters the heart again. The blood stays within blood vessels. In this way, blood is kept separate from body tissues. Unlike the cardiovascular system, the lymphatic system is not closed, it's an open system. The lymph is moved through the body in its own vessels, making a one-way journey from the interstitial spaces to the subclavian veins. Now, the vessels. In the cardiovascular system, there are three types of blood vessels. The first one, the arteries, which will carry the oxygenated blood away from the heart. The second one, veins, which will carry the deoxygenated blood from the body back toward the heart. The third one, capillaries, where the exchange of water, nutrients, and chemicals between the blood and the body tissues. In lymphatic system, we don't have different types of lymph vessels. Lymph vessels are thin walled vessels structured like blood vessels, but they are carrying here lymph instead of blood. Another cardiovascular system characteristic that this system has a heart that pumps blood through a continuous circulation pattern. As such, the blood tends to be pumped at a higher pressure, especially in artery. But if we talk about lymphatic system, we will see that lymph moves slowly in lymph vessels by the squeezing action of smooth muscles and skeletal muscles. And we will not forget to talk about an important function for both systems in defending the body. In cardiovascular system, the white blood cells in the blood defend the body against infections, foreign materials, and abnormal cells. Also, in lymphatic system, we have some lymphoid organs contain the immune cells, the white blood cells, like lymph nodes, which help in fight infection by attacking the germs. Not only that, these lymph nodes will filter the fluid and release it back into the bloodstream. At the end, the main differences between cardiovascular system and lymphatic system have been summarized here, and we should remember that both systems are vascular networks carrying liquid connective tissues. Not only that, both of them they have vessels transferring liquids and help in body defense. Thanks for watching!